Hey, it's Jim with CGC Sports Illustrated. All the videos that I do on YouTube and my podcast and, and basically most of what I talk about comes from you. It's people that ask questions, I get requests to cover certain topics in videos, and twice now in the last couple of weeks, um, two different people have messaged me on social media and said something along the lines of, hey, you should do a Black Friday sale um, and, and do a video about it. And I, I never really used my videos and the platform to sell my graded Sports Illustrated. I mean, I've mentioned my eBay store before, but it's not something I've done. But since a couple of different people asked for it, I thought I'd give it a shot and uh, we'll see what happens. So this is my Black Friday sale of all the slabs that I've currently got available for sale. Um, couple disclaimers. Um, these are not, all these slabs that we're looking at are on eBay right now if you just want to see more pictures or get some more information about them, but these are not offers that I'm going to take on eBay. These are strictly going to be off eBay prices. Um, if you're interested in any of these, drop a comment here on YouTube or DM me on social media. Um, I'm the same username on every social media platform, CGC Sports Illustrated, so really easy to find. So these, again, these are off eBay prices only, um, and they include free shipping. So I've got about 20 slabs, not a whole lot. I've sold a lot lately. Um, so not a whole lot to sell, but figure we talk about these and run through them, and at least if nothing else, we got some cool slabs to look at. So first up here, Patrick Mahomes, first cover. Um, I, I'm a huge fan of this. I mean, I wish I had one of these at 9.8 because they go for about $10,000. Big drop off after that for 9.6s and 9.4s. But this is this is a great cover. Patrick Mahomes, his first Sports Illustrated from 2019. Uh, I've got it listed on eBay right now for $515. I'll take uh, $350 on that one. Next one up. This one's fairly new. It's Bob Cousy. Man, Celtics legend. This is graded at an 8.5. Now, this is a pop one of two, none higher. By the way, it says first Bob Cousy cover on the slab label. I just think that that's cool, and I like the fact that you know that CGC has confirmed, yeah, this is Bob Cousy's first cover. So like I said, this is a pop one of two, none higher. It's graded at 8.5, and 8.0 just sold a couple months ago. For $1,000, I've got this listed for $3,500 on eBay, and um, I'll take three grand for it. Okay. This is a beauty. This one, Shohei Otani. Guy just won the American League Most Valuable Player Award. Um, this is his first Sports Illustrated cover from 2018. That is Mike Trout on the cover with him. There are a handful of these graded at 9.8. There are a ton graded below that. I've mentioned this a lot, and it's because of all this black on the cover. Just like having a black car shows all the imperfections, any defects just come screaming out when you've got a really dark colored cover like this. So 9.8 is pretty rare. What makes it even more rare is this is a variant issue. So the other cover that Sports Illustrated produced this week had a couple of guys from the Yankees on the cover. So super rare, rising, up-and-coming superstar Shohei Otani, his first cover. I've got this on eBay for $7,900. Um, I'll do a Black Friday price of five grand on that if you're interested. Um, and then this one, here's um, same Shohei Otani graded at a 9.6. Um, everything else the same, it's just not a 9.8, it's a 9.6. I've got this one listed on eBay for $750. Um, Black Friday sale, I'd take $600. Again, if you're interested in any of these, drop a comment on YouTube or, uh, or shoot me a DM on social media. I've always liked this cover. There's a lot of these out there. So this is Mickey Mantle's third cover from 1956. He had three covers in 56. His first one was in 56, and then he had two more. Um, this is the last one that came out this year. 6.0, not a bad grade, but how often can you get anything graded Mickey Mantle, especially vintage from the 50s, um, at a pretty reasonable price? So um, I'm looking to get rid of this one. I got it listed for 250 on eBay. I'd take 175 for it right now. I like this one. This is fun. It's the only um, Sports Illustrated issue I've ever had graded at 9.8. So this is Bar Raffelli and her first Sports Illustrated cover from 2009. It says first Bar Raffelli cover on the slab label. Um, 
Sports Illustrated swimsuit issues are kind of fun. I've said this before, there's a whole group of people out there that only collect the swimsuit issues. This is a pop one of one, none higher. It's the highest graded copy in the world. It's the only copy at this grade in the world. Um, I've got it listed on eBay right now for $700. Uh, I'd take 500 for that in a Black Friday sale. Trevor Lawrence, 9.8. Um, there's only six of these graded. Let's talk a little bit about why that is. Number one, this is a variant. Nick Foles was on the, and the Eagles were on the other cover that was distributed this week. And again, a lot of dark color on this cover, a lot of dark color on the back too. Just like I mentioned, makes any flaw in an issue just come screaming right out. That's why these 9.8s are so hard to get. Um, one of these sold on Heritage a um, couple of months ago at a 9.8 for, I think it was like 2100, 2200 bucks. Um, I've got this listed for $3,500 on eBay. I'd take two grand for it right now, which is, um, you know, a little bit below fair market value based on recent comps. So looking to move that Trevor Lawrence. Bobby Orr. So this is Bobby Orr's fourth Sports Illustrated cover. This is his um, Sportsman of the Year cover. Graded at a 6.0. There's a lot of these graded. Bobby Orr's just a really collectible guy. Um, you know, had a great career with the Boston Bruins. Maybe the best defenseman in NHL history. Um, I've got this listed on eBay for 275. I would take 200 for that 6.0 Bobby Orr. Um, I'll be flat out honest. There are several of these that I really don't want to sell. I mean, I'll give you a discounted price, but I'm not all that motivated to sell them. Um, this is one of them. Uh, everything Kobe Bryant is still red hot. This is Kobe's moment, graded at a 9.8. This is a pop one of one, none higher. Again, this is a variant. It's obvious. I love variants. And why do I love graded newsstand Sports Illustrated issues? It's because they're rare. Why do I love variants? It's because they're even more rare. So this is a variant. This is a pop one of one, none higher, graded at 9.8. Um, like I said, Kobe stuff is still red hot. I've got this listed on eBay for $3,000. Um, I'd take $2,500 for that one right now. I'd, I'd be disappointed if anybody takes me up on it. I mean, I'll let it go, but um, I love that Kobe cover. First Sports Illustrated issue from uh, 1954, Eddie Matthews' first cover. That's him swinging the bat on the cover. Um, similar to the last one, this is another one I really don't want to sell. Here's the reason. I mean, I didn't want to sell that because I love Kobe. Um, I'm not all that interested in selling this one. I mean, I will. This has tripled in price in the last year and a half. Last summer, the summer of 2020, you could have picked up a 9.8 in this all day for three grand. They sold regularly for three grand. Um, Ten and eleven thousand dollars is the new benchmark for the pricing on these. Three of these have sold in the last few months. Um, two of them sold for ten thousand dollars, and one of them sold for eleven thousand um, dollars. So it's tripled in price um, in the last 18 months. Who knows what it's going to do going forward? Um, I've got this listed for 17.5. I'd take 15 for it. So 15,000 for that one right now. Um, just, I mean, the price increase on that has been astronomical over the last year. Love this one too. Surprise, surprise, another variant. Um, this is Justin Herbert's first Sports Illustrated cover. Uh, man, he's been on fire, uh, you know, the last couple of years, really since he entered the, NA, the, the NFL. I mean, he, of the young quarterbacks, he's looked better and more promising than any of them. This is a variant. This is an even more rare variant because there were four regional covers produced that week. Justin Herbert was on one. They had three other college quarterbacks on the other um, three. 9.4 is the highest grade in the world of this one. Um, again, why is it tough to get a high grade? It's a variant. It's rare. It's newsstand. Tons of black on the cover. And all of that black ink on the back makes those flaws just come screaming out. Got this one graded at 9.0. I've got it listed on eBay for $350. i would take uh, $300 for it in a Black Friday sale. Stan Musial's first cover. I mean, Stan Musial's probably the greatest... Cardinals player in history, and that is amazing because they've been an amazing franchise for, you know, over a hundred years. Uh, this is Stan Musial's first cover. Um, this is from, I think this is from, yeah, 1956. This is from 1956. 
Um, graded at 8.5, there's only one of these graded higher. So that's it. You're getting right below the top tier on this. I've got it listed for 1250. I'd take 800 on that one for the stand usual first cover. Going through these quickly or else this would be like a 40 minute video. Um, next up here, Mickey Mantle. I've always loved this cover. This is so cool. So this is the Sports Illustrated from 1995 that they put out as a tribute right after Mickey Mantle passed away. I just think it's so cool. It's like a black and white picture of him and then you've just got the red Sports Illustrated in the background and that's it, no headline on the cover. Um, this is a pop one of six, none higher. Again, graded at 9.8, it's from 1995. I've got it listed for 850 on eBay, um, off eBay in a Black Friday sale, I'll take 600. I, I love this one. I've had this one for sale for a while. Um, and and I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to kind of move it. So this is David Robinson. This is his first pro cover. So it's his second cover overall. His first cover was him because um, he went to the Naval Academy in his Navy dress uniform. Great cover. Uh, but this is his first uh, pro cover in his San Antonio Spurs uniform. Graded at a 9.6. It's a pop one of one, none higher. There's none and there's not another one even close to that. Again, a lot of dark ink on this cover. Tough to get it in a super high grade. I've got this listed for um, $9.50 on eBay. Uh, I'll do a Black Friday sale of $600 on that if someone's interested. Sports Illustrated, another swimsuit issue. So this is the um, second ever Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue from 1955. That's Sue Peterson on the cover. It's her first Sports Illustrated cover. You can see it's graded at a 5.0. Lots graded ahead of that. I've got it listed for two fifty on eBay. I'd take um, one seventy five. By the way, if, if, if you're more than welcome, I'm not the type of guy that gets insulted by lowball offers. You're more than welcome to offer whatever you'd like on these, and I'm happy to tell you no if I'm not interested in selling it at that price. Um, but if you know, let's at least have a discussion on it. So feel free to offer me something else, even below the uh, the Black Friday price, um, and we'll talk. And I may say no, or I may say yes. You never know. I like this one. I'm a little bit of a soccer fan, not a big soccer fan, but just a little bit. This is Neymar's first cover from 2017, graded at 9.4. It's a pop one of one, none higher. It says first Neymar cover on the slab label. I love that. It makes everything clear for everybody to know. This is Neymar's first cover. Um, 9.4, pop one of one, none higher. Very tough to find in a high grade. Again, a lot of dark ink on the cover. I've got it listed for 500 on eBay. I would take 350 um, in a Black Friday sale for that Neymar. I shouldn't like Desmond Howard. Number one, he went to Michigan. Number two, he played for the Green Bay Packers. Ah, uh, there's nothing there that says me. I should hate Desmond Howard's guts, um, but I don't. Um, and maybe it's because I still love College Game Day on ESPN, and I, I just love that whole crew of guys, and he's been doing it for, year, for years. And he was a, just a fun player to watch. Um, so this is Desmond Howard. This is the issue that came out right after he won the Super Bowl MVP. Um, this is a pop one of one, none higher. I've got it listed for $125 on eBay. I'd take $75 bucks for this. Um, that's a great price for a great-looking cover of a Super Bowl MVP um, Heisman Trophy winner. Not his first cover, but a fun looking cover right there. Uh, here's another one I really don't want to sell because um, I'm a big Notre Dame fan. Um, this is Terry Hanratty. This is from 1966. I, I, I always thought this was a cool color cover. I love, you know, they've got the Golden Dome helmets on. You can tell it's freezing. They got the big, you know, jackets over their shoulder pads. You can see the crowd in the background at Notre Dame Stadium there. Um, this is Terry Hanratty. He was a big quarterback for Notre Dame, 1966, graded at 8.0. It's a pop one of one, none higher. Got it listed for 300 on eBay. I'd take 250 for it. This is a, this is a cool looking cover. I was always a big Andrew Luck fan, and I was so bummed when he retired early because I, 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 I truly thought he could have been one of the greats. Um, but just left too early. So this is um, Andrew Luck, good looking cover with all that blue and white to match the Colts um, colors. This is a 9.6, it's graded um, at 9.6. It's a pop one of two, none higher. Um, I've got it for 125 on eBay. I'll take 75 for it today. A few more left here. Michael Jordan, so this is this is the issue that started the Michael Jordan Sports Illustrated feud. Bag it, Michael is the headline. It's when he was playing baseball for the White Sox in their minor league team. 
Um, it was essentially a hit piece on Jordan. And the writer of the article actually came out publicly um, not too long afterwards and said um, that he never should have written the article um, and that he did not give Michael Jordan a, and his baseball career a fair shake and he shouldn't have written the article. Um, Jordan being Jordan didn't care because he took this personally, has never interviewed with Sports Illustrated since this came out in 1994. I've also heard rumors that Michael Jordan since then has refused to sign any Sports Illustrated issue. Sounds like Jordan, doesn't it? <laughs> this is um, it's a fun issue. It's the only one with him in his baseball uniform. Um, there's four of these graded higher. This is a 9.2. I've got it listed for 400 on eBay. Um, I'd take 300. Couple left. Um, I've always liked this one. I was a big Vince Carter fan back in the day. Um, and this was, you know, when Toronto Raptors were new in the league and all this stuff. This is Vince Carter's first cover. This is from 2000. Yeah, 2000. Uh, graded at a 9.6. It's a pop one of two, none higher. So you've got, you know, tied for the highest copy in the world. Big superstar like Vince Carter. First cover, Toronto Raptors. I, I think this is a cool issue. I've got it listed for $300 on eBay. I'll take $200 for it in a Black Friday sale. Last one, guys, Bobby Hall. Um, if you guys see my other videos, I'm kind of really into vintage hockey. I'm a huge Blackhawks fan. This is Bobby Hall's um, third Sports Illustrated cover. It's graded at a 6.5. It is a pop one of one with none higher. The why I love this cover. He's got no teeth. Look at all those missing teeth in the mouth. I mean, that that's old-time hockey. I love those pictures of those old hockey guys with no helmets and only you know half their teeth missing. Um, so that's why I've always kind of liked this cover. Bobby Hull, um, 6.5. I've got it listed on eBay for $450. In a Black Friday sale, I'll take $300. So there you go. I hope this was interesting. Um, again, I will not accept these prices if your offer is made on eBay. These are off eBay prices only. If you're interested, comment here on YouTube. DM me on social media, CGC Sports Illustrated. I'll ship them for free so the price is out the door. And uh, maybe we'll do this again next Thanksgiving. Thanks.